Um, Lisa, I just love her, so I wanted to give a dedicated video to this product because she just, the way that she educates her audience is truly amazing. She radiates just kindness and graciousness and all the good stuff that I think is maybe starting to lack a little bit in the world, so I just think she really deserves the best of everything. I've never met her, I don't know anything about her except for how she appears on camera, but I think you can just tell the amount of time she devotes to education you know that's a properly good person so I really 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 wish the best for her and I can't wait to see her product collection grow I was super super excited to see her release skincare because that's very much my lane um, watching her introduction video and reading the product description I was a little bit concerned that the cleanser wouldn't really suit my skin type and it doesn't really like it is the type of cleanser that leaves quite a bit of residue so you kind of need to use it back with a towel or a flannel or you need to just spend forever rinsing it but the reason I like this product this is not a negative re review is actually as a leave-on mask so again, during her introduction video and in the product description, Lisa talks about how it was developed to be used as a leave-on product, not just as an express kind of rinse-off cleanser. And I really appreciate that because it means that people who maybe don't have success with it as a cleanser already have a backup way of using the product. Um, and it's not the same as other products on the market because not very many of them have been intentionally developed to be left on or even have supporting substantiation to say that it can be left on and that your skin actually benefits from using it for 10 minutes. So Lisa's gone through all the effort to develop quite a unique product, a unique texture, but has also offered a lot of uses for it with most importantly substantiation that it actually improves skin while it's being used. So the way that I actually go about using it is kind of as a morning cleanser. So I'll wake up, put a fairly thick layer on, try to leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes while I'm doing other things. But instead of rinsing it off, I'll actually then hop into the shower. So it ends up being a little bit of an in-shower mask. I've just rolled out of bed, applied a layer of the Lisa Eldridge cleanser, which I'm using as a morning mask. So I'll leave this on for five to 10 minutes, hop in the shower, emulsify, rinse off. So this will act as my morning cleanse as well as a nourishing mask. It just feels and looks like a jelly oil. I have a little bit of mild rosacea, so the cleanser not only has a purifying and clarifying action, it has a nourishing effect because of the included oils, but just the nature of having a gel oil mask on my skin means that it's actually protecting my skin from the hot water and steam that I would normally negatively react to. It just has multifaceted benefits, as I said, clarifying, purifying, nourishing, but also just protects my skin from water um, so I think anybody that has a dermatological condition where it causes sensitivity from water like hot water especially whether it be eczema or dermatitis other versions of dermatitis or rosacea you might benefit from using a gel oil mask like this just to shield your skin from the negative impacts of water this cleanser in particular kind of stands above others just because I have faith and I know that it's been designed in a way where any of the surfactants or anything in there is not going to damage the skin it's actually been designed to be left on and that way I know with confidence that it's actually having a positive effect on my skin and not doing anything bad or disrupting the skin barrier so I've become a big fan of using it in that way as like a leave-on shower mask although I'm sure those of you with dry sensitive skin will appreciate it will appreciate it as a first cleanse as well especially if you don't mind using a towel or a flannel so yeah also the ingredient profile is just a little bit interesting I think it's been selected with a lot of intention and just sort of just doing something different. Um, yeah, so that's the end of this video. I think it was a pretty quick one. I just wanted to kind of summarize why I enjoy this cleanser. Let me know if you've used it and what your experience has been with it or if you've got any just general questions for me. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at sandbythecounter and I will see you in the next video, which I have no idea what this actual channel will be like. I hope it's just a bit of a community, a bit conversational about products. We'll see how we go. Um, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.